Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And how would you put a boundary around something that has some open edges? If you just select it all, hit the boundary tool, that's what you get, and that's not going to work. So I'm going to change my nudge vector to like eight inches. What you could do what you could do is create a boundary. In this particular case, wouldn't be that hard. I'm going to bring in an indexing line and have it snap to that edge. So I kind of get a feel for where I'm going to put my lines. I'm going to get my two-point line, three-point line, excuse me, and I'm going to go from like that edge to that edge and then holding down the control button so I get a kind of a perfect line. And then depending on whether you want to close this off, but you could close this off and you give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a taper. And if you'll do both sides at one time, you'll kind of remember what you did. And there's a way you could duplicate that line and put over. But like right here, we could go from about right here to right here and give it a little bit of bow. And, and you could duplicate that line and put it over here, but we're going to go from about the same spot to here and just kind of up it up. Same thing down at the bottom. Take your three-point line and three-point curve line and maybe go from about here down to there and then give it a little curve. Do the opposite side. We're like on the third, third wing. Give a little bit of curve. And then right in here, just... Go down the bottom, and then if you'll hold down the control button, you get kind of a, a symmetrical line. Now, if we take this, let me get rid of the indexing lines. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Now, if we take this shape and use the boundary tool, we get a boundary. And there's a lot you could do with it. You could smooth it out because most people are not going to want a uh, line so close to the boundary. So what you could do, let me just delete these lines so when we're through, it'll work. Then you could take, if you have X sub or above, you could take the smoothing tool and smooth out around that wing ever so slightly. Maybe even smooth out the whole thing kind of a little bit. And then like right here, let me uh, zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see that happening and uh, make our node, let's go one inch. So it'll be a little bit bigger. And when you do a little bit bigger, it'll do a little bit faster. And then you could actually go through here a couple of times, get a straight, straighter curve. Now go up to effects and contour, and let's contour the outside 0 0.02. Let's go back. Let's go point, point 0.115, not make it quite so big. Go to object, break contour apart, and then take that contour and nudge it over. And now you have a boundary around that item that you could cut that out. And you could play with that. You know, if you don't like that, you could contour from right here, let's go 0 0.05, make it a little less to see what it looks like. Uh, you know, let's back up and do it 0 0.01, well, 0.1. And now you have a contour that's really, really close. And then you just go to object and break contour apart, click on the outside one and hit delete. <clears throat> and you've got a cut line around those. And you could change it. Um, let's kind of do that. Uh, I like doing stuff like this. Let's, uh, let's hit P and put our contour in the middle of the page. Now we need to group all this together. So we're going to go to object and group. And then we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my shape tool and I'm going to bring, I'm going to delete that node and I'm going to bring this, this one in a little bit. Now, 
The question is, how are you going to do that on both sides equally? In just a minute here, we'll show you. I don't like those nodes. There's like three nodes on top of each other. And that's, you can do this and then you could right click, turn this into, well, it's already a cusp. And you could play with the nodes. Now, let's take our logo and nudge it out of the way. This is in the center of the page. So let's bring in a two point line holding down the control button to get it perpendicular and then hit P. And then I do this a lot, then delete this side, get rid of our line, control D and make a duplicate. And while you're holding down the duplicate button, pass that over, take your smart fill tool, fill that in, go down, left click, right click, go over and back up. And now you have a symmetrical outline, cut line around that item. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.